What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Memphis League Cup. Now, unfortunately, if you watch the vlog, um, you actually know that I did not record any of the rounds. Uh, there's actually six rounds today, and what we have today is going to be the top eight, top four, and then tomorrow we will post the final. So on the left, we have Brandon uh, playing, I think, Zork Lycanroc, and on the right we have Cody, and I'm pretty sure he's playing Espeon and Garbodor. It seems like the most very, like, interesting matchup in top eight. I think the other matchups were Buzzwool, Drampa, or not Buzzwool, uh, no, Buzzwool, uh, Garbodor, or Buzzwool versus Espeon, which you think Espeon would win that one. There's also Volcanion versus, uh, Ho-Oh, which is two fire decks, really not that exciting either. And then there was Tapu Bulu versus Lycanroc Zark. And I decided to put this one in the stream. It seems like the most interesting one. And, you know, the big thing is people always say that Lycanroc Zark can easily take down Espeon. So today we're going to see is that true or not. So, <clears throat> like I said, on the left we have Brandon. He's going to play Bridget. Allow him to search for three um, basic Pokemon. Um, up to, uh, a three basic or one EX, I think is what the wording says. Which allows you to grab uh, two Zoras and a Rockruff. So really strong start from Brandon already. I, I would think I'd actually go for this third Zora. You know your opponent is playing the SPR Garbless. I think you'd rather get the Zoras out and just try to get set up. You really don't want to rely too much on the Lycanrocks. Just in case that Garbodor does come up and you can't use their abilities. I'd rather have more attackers in that instance. Um, but... We might just see a pass. Really nothing else Brandon can do turn one. He's already played a supporter card. He can maybe attach an energy, but the thing about attaching energy is your opponent could play Enhanced Hammer at any moment, which we know a lot of decks do play that nowadays. And note Cody's turn. He's going to draw a card, and also with him, he's going to be looking for Bridget. Try to get down multiple EVs, uh, maybe an, another Trubbish. Uh, try to get that Garbatoxin online and shut down the trade ability and all that kind of good stuff. Maybe Bloodthirsty Eyes. We see Brandon already does have a... I think he's a Lele in a... Um, and as Zark in his hand. So we see Cody. He's going to look. He's debating what to do here. I think he must have an Ultra Ball. And he's trying to decide which two cards to discard. Which this is. Uh, you know, it takes a while sometimes. But I think this is where, you know, in top eight, you really need to pay attention to time. It's really a big deal. Uh, but there is 75 minutes for cuts. So we're good on there. We have plenty of time. Uh, just I me, mean, I guess, more in Swift. You have to watch out for, like, how long it takes to make moves. Because you can tie, and the tie is never good. I do understand that people need to make, you know, the choices and make the right plays. But here we see an Ultra Ball, discarding an Espeon, and it looks like a Garbodor as well. It's some kind of Psychic Pokemon. It looks like it is an Evolution, and I imagine it'll be a Garbodor. And I imagine we're going to see a Lele here, Wonder Tag, grabbing Bridget, and just Bridget for, like I said, multiple EVs. Maybe another, um... Trubbish, just in case the active does get knocked out. It only has, I think, 70 HP, so it's easily going to be knocked out next turn. And there's he, Lele, probably using Bridget, like I said. Turn 1 Bridget is such a strong card nowadays. And I guess, you know, when the next set comes out, I wonder how much Lele will actually see play turn 1 because of Glaceon. Will Glaceon make people not play as much Bridget? I wonder. But there was he a Trubbish, uh, not, um, there was he a Trubbish, Drampa, and a Eevee. So he's playing, an, uh, I guess, uh, an Espeon Drampa variant. So we see a Rescue Stretcher. Gonna put the Espeon and Garbodor back into his hand, which is really nice. I don't know if I would've played it straight away, um, just because you, you've you already played a supporter card. Unless he knows that an Espeon is prized and he's gonna attach a Psychic Energy to the Eevee and use the Energy Evolution to get an Espeon out. Um, maybe he just case the opponent ends him. All right, there's a Po Town coming down. All right, they will see a DC be attached to the Drampa, and we will see a pass on to Brandon's turn. All right, so let's see what Brandon does here. If he evolves the Zark, a Zor to Zark, it will take 30 damage because that Potown, they will see a Zark coming down. It will take 30 damage because that Potown's in play, and you can see Cody right there. He's like, hey, man, make sure you take your damage. Uh, <laughs> you see him point at it again. He pointed the Poe down. All right, there we go. So taking the 30, the 30 damage. Uh, Brandon's going to play an Ultra Ball. Going to start two cards from his hand. Discards an Ultra Ball, and no, that's a puzzle, and, and very interesting that he's discarding the puzzle. You know he's playing, like, um, you know, Garbodor, but Zork does have his resistance to Psychic, but, I mean, he, with this, he has two of the discard pile. That Trash Nudge could be very, very scary, and uh, start hitting some huge numbers later on. But we see Brandon does find another Zork, GX. And you can put that down and have access up to four trades, or two trades this turn. So we see another DC, or another uh, Zora coming down. We see a Tapu Lele, uses that winter tag, 
go to find himself a supporter card, and he's most likely either going to find an in or a sycamore, and they will see a sycamore going to his hand. Now, he already discarded in. I hope the other two cards in his hand are not that viable, um, because we saw him discard a puzzle, and I, I mean, puzzles are definitely, like, the best card in the stack. So, we see a uh, choice band be attached to the Zorg, we see a flowstone, and we see a second more. Once a discard his hand, drawn seven new cards, and he's definitely just digging for a DCE here. DCE here, and try to take a knockout on this uh, Trubbish, but... What Brandon has to watch out for is a return knockout by a Drampa. Uh, we see Energy Lotto. Uh, go look at the top seven cards of his stack. See if he can find a supporter card or, I mean, an energy card or not. And does he find one? And he does not find one, unfortunately. He does play the Energy Lotto, trying to, you know, trying to make sure he hits an energy card. But, I mean, even with the Energy Lotto, he's still with the energy, which is very unfortunate. He needs a DC to take a knock on this, this Trubbish for sure. Unless he, Brandon still has his trades though. He's still, he's still able to use two trades this turn. And there we see trade number one. Discarding a puzzle, okay. Uh, man, that's another scary card to discard. Like, he's putting another item card in the discard pile. He got rid of a puzzle. There we see another choice band discarded. One more, like another item card being put in the discard pile. I, I don't know if I agree with this stuff. And like, maybe he's like, okay, these cards are useless. After this turn, I'm not really going to use them. And all that kind of stuff. And I think he missed the DCE. Energy Lotto, double trade. Maybe he does have the DCE. He has a strong energy. He can put that on the Rock Ruff. Okay, no, it's just a fighting energy. And, um, well, most likely you see a pass here. I mean, I highly doubt he'll attack with that Trubbish. I don't know, with the Rock Ruff, it seems like it'd be very crazy to do that. Uh, but Brandon now is deciding what to do here. Do you leave? Okay, I see he has a Zark in hand. But... We're just going to see a pass on Cody's turn. Now, if Cody can find a way to knock out one of these arcs, he's in a great position. But nope, just going to play in here and going to get six new cards. But like I said, when those Zorks come up to attack, that Drampa will take a knockout if it finds a choice span. And if Cody can evolve one of his Pokemon, um, because he has got that Berserk attack, which does 70 plus 80. Um... Yeah, 70 plus 80 if there's any damage counters on your bench Pokemon. And then 30 more with a Choice Band, which is 180 damage, but you could take a knockout on a Zark. Uh, it's very, very scary numbers for sure. But we see Cody get set up. I think it has. I think Zark GX has 210 HP. And I think, I'm think i pretty sure it does. I'm pretty crazy if it doesn't. I think it does, though. Uh, but we see Cody. He does have a Psychic Energy. He gets searched for an Espeon out this turn. Uh, but does that really help him at all? He really needs to find a Floatstone. But no, go put a Psychic Energy on the EV. Uh, go to Energy Evolution to find a uh, Espeon GX. Okay. He's got to take a Fusion and Psychic. And in Confusion, it's a very interesting thing. Uh, yes, it takes minus 20 with the Zark because he has resistance. But it confuses the Zark, um, which makes it where you hit the flip a coin to attack. So let's see what Cody does here. Does he have anything else? Or oh, we would just see a pass. Uh, he does take 30 damage from the Potown because he did evolve out of his hand. It evolved out of his deck. Um, and yeah, Zork also only has 210 HP. So like I said, if, you know, Brandon swings with Zork and then Cody has that, oh my goodness, we see another trade here. Discarding his third puzzle. Oh my goodness. That, <laughs> the Garbage will be doing so much damage. Uh, we see another trade here, a second trade. Does he find a DC or not? He's got plenty of, okay, I think I see a DC in hand. Uh, he's got two DCs, actually, so he can swing with the Zark this turn. I think, yeah, those are two DCs. But like I said, um, what needs to happen this turn is Brandon really needs to attack that Drampa. If he can take a knock on that Drampa before it comes up and knocks out his Zark, he's in a great position. Uh, take down pretty much Cody's only real attacker, which is that Drampa. And they receive a Zark coming down to play. Uh, it looks like he is going to go for that Bloodthirsty Ice. Probably bring up the Drampa, take a knockout with a Rock Ruff or Lycan Rock. It could do 110 damage um, with Claw Slash. And there we see the Lycan Rock come down. Uh, going to take 30 damage, and it's going to bring up that Drampa most likely. He does have that Fighting Weakness, which is really, really nice. We'll see your Retreat. Uh, probably attach the DCE. I don't think you really use your GX attack here. I think you just attach the DCE, and you just swing. Uh, but what is... Okay, no. Uh, Lycanroc's weakness is grass. It is not psychic. So he can take a knockout here. And all you have to worry about psychic. Uh, psychic deck 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, it does do 180, which would knock out um, the Lycanroc, actually. He finds a DCE choice band. He's got the choice band in hand already. I see it already. If he finds a DCE, he will be able to psychic for the knockout. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, 18 plus. 
three is uh, 210, which should for sure knock out the uh, the Lycanroc. All right, so we'll see an Ultra Ball from Cody. Go ahead and discard two cards from his hand. Gonna look at Brandon's discard pile, and what he's trying to figure out right now is how many item cards in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight in there right now. That means Garbert is doing 160 damage. Wow. Um, yeah, so there's a Garbert coming down with a choice band. He actually take a knockout. Uh, no, six. Yeah. Um, Wait, did I say six? I already forgot. If I said six, then that's not enough for knockout right now. But there we see the Garbo Toxin Garboder come online. Okay. It looks like Cody w does want to sh uh, turn off abilities. Okay. So we see a 30 damage be taken from that Garbodor. Uh, that's not the right card. Uh, <laughs> another Trubbish in the field. Okay. We see a uh, Choice Bank onto the active. And Sycamore, can Cody find a DCE here? If he does, he'll be able to knock out this like a rock, like a rock this turn and put himself in a great position. Um, because, you know, Zark really is not threatening a knockout next turn, and they receive Flowstone going down to the Garbotox and Garboto. No abilities are aligned. We see a DC going to the active, and we're going to see a Psychic here for the knockout. Cody will take two price cards, and it's going to be four to four on the price cards. So, yep, they receive a knockout. Go down to four price cards, and what can Brandon really do here? Uh, probably send the Rock Ruff. Uh, he, he can't use, you know, Lycanroc's GX attack and he's two energies. Uh, he can swing with the right is beating, but it's not going to knock out either. You know, it's only going to do two, four, six, eight, uh, eight right now with a choice spin, you know, 110. Um, still not very strong. We never see E Hammer come down. Go ahead and discard the DC off the active Espeon. Okay. Uh, we see a trade. Okay. Oh, nope. No trade here because he's got the, he's got the Carbador. There we go. Nice catch. Okay. All right, and this is where things become very interesting with the uh, the Espion Garb deck. We shut down Zark. He can't use Trade anymore. You can't use Bloodthirsty Eyes. He does have a Field Blower, discarding the Choice Band and the Floodstone. But remember, Brandon's pretty much out of all of his uh, his uh, puzzle times. I'm pretty sure all three, maybe three or four, are in the discard pile. If I remember. Correctly. I know for sure three. I'm not exactly sure four in there, but I know for sure there's three in them in there. We see an end being discarded, drawing two more cards. Does Brandon find a DCE? I thought he had two in hand at one point. Maybe I missaw it and, and thought he had two, but maybe he didn't have the two DCs in hand like I thought he did. Uh, let's see. He does have access to Lycanroc, I think, maybe? But there's the DC going after the Zark. Okay. He's got it. Is that a Sean in hand? Okay, there's a Zork coming down. I definitely would have probably end this turn, though. Like, definitely try to end Cody down to four cards. Hopefully, he has another end in hand uh, just to try to disrupt him. That way, he doesn't have such a big hand because Cody does have a really... I, I think he's like six or seven cards right now. Both see a treat from the Rock Ruff into the Zark. And we're going to see a Riot is beating here for two, four, six, eight, ten, 130 damage. But remember, Brandon has not played a supporter card yet. Does he have another end? Or not. And also what Brandon needs to try to figure out next turn, how does he deal with this confusion? Um, because most likely Espeon will confuse this turn and uh, make it very... Oh, I think... Yeah, it's going to be very hard for Brandon's attack next turn. But we see another Zora hit the field. Uh, it would not do 150. So we see 6, 12, and 3. So 150 damage coming down on a Cody's turn. Like I said, he can go for that confusion here. Uh, make that Zora confuse where they had to flip a coin to attack. If not, it'll take damage if they flip tells. So, yeah. Let's see what Cody decides to do here. He's going to think about, you know, decisions. Uh, there is more item cards in the discard pile. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think there's 9 in there. Um, yeah. 9 in there is 180 uh, from a Garbodor. Remember, Lycanroc, I mean, Zork does have resistance. It's only to 160. But with a choice span, he can actually take a knockout own the Zorks with a Garbotoxin and Gar with a with a trash lunch Garboder. So let's see what does Cody decide to do here. He can also just go for confusion, just try to confuse a Zork and just you know. And it, it only does ten damage, but that ten damage is really not going to matter. It, it, that confusion is so lethal, especially since it already has a choice band attached to it. But we see a psychic energy going down to the Garbodor. Okay, we see a trash lunch coming down as well. He does have a choice band. It's going to put on the Garbodor with the Garbodor Toxin. So now abilities are shut off again. And we see an end. Both players are going to shuffle and draw some new cards. But like I said, Cody, he's definitely, you know, I think he's in a better spot right now. Just because he can confuse the Zark, make it where Brandon has to flip a coin to attack. And if he flips tails, well, it does nothing. But if Brandon flip heads, uh, he goes down to two price cards. Um, that's another thing to consider here. But... 
yeah, but we see both players going to get four cards here. We'll most likely see Cody just go for confusion due to damage to that Zork. And uh, we're, we're going to see some coin flips happening for sure. Unless Brandon top deck like an Acerola, maybe a Guzma. Um, a Guzma would be somewhat good. He can knock out. Oh, no, we see a retreat here. Okay. Um, does SP only have one retreat cost? I thought it had two. Maybe. Okay, if it's one, wow, more power to him. Um, it, I don't think it takes a knockout here, though, does it? Hmm. I thought he only ate the discard pile. Maybe he had more than I thought he did. Uh, I thought I only counted eight. Maybe there was nine? Um, no, he actually needed ten in the discard pile. Yeah, he needed ten in the discard pile. I don't know if he had ten or not, but we see Trash and taking a knockout here. We see a Lycanroc come down, taking another 30, all right? So both these guys taking 30. We see an end. Both players will shuffle up. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, okay, so maybe there was 10 there and I just miscounted. I don't know. I wasn't really, I didn't count the discard pile. There was no dice on there. I, I, for, I got those, you know, I, I should have probably mentioned them to have like dice and see how many item cards are in the discard pile um, for Cody so we can see how much damage he's doing. But I don't think he had 10. Maybe he did, and like I said, just miscounted. Um, but we'll see, you know, Cody get two. We see Brandon get four. Does Brandon find a DCE? And that's pretty much all he needs right now. Um, he's doing 100 damage with the 5 on the field. Garbodon has 120 HP. And he's going to take a knockout pretty easily. We see a treat into the Zora. And onto Brandon. So you see Cody kind of fist pumped there saying, yes, he didn't have the knockout. I'm good to go. We see a strong energy going to Lycan Rock. Okay. And yeah, I mean, Cody's definitely in the driver's seat. Does he have a way to bring up a bench? GX card or, an e or yeah just GX I mean if he has a Guzma and a way to retreat then he's good to go he can easily win this game and we're going to game number two remember this is best two out of three and top eight and uh let's see what Cody has here he definitely can trash lynch to knock out Zora that's 100% true I mean he knocked out a, a Zark GX last turn he's got plenty of obviously he's got plenty of, of item cards in there we see a psychic energy be attached to the Aspion I don't know if I like that. I'd rather attach it on the Trubbish and try to hit a, uh, a Trash Lunch Garboda next turn. But we see the Lycanroc being promoted with the Strong Energy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Does he find a DCE here? Um, it will take a knockout with that. It'll do 110 plus the 30 is 140. So yeah, that's enough for the Claw Slash. Um, but he'll go down to three prize cards while... Cody only needs one more. They will see a top of Layla coming down. You can't activate one tag because there is the Garbodor. And we see an end. Both players are going to shuffle up. And it's kind of up to Brandon right now to find any kind of energy. Any energy will give him a knockout this turn. He could go for the Dangerous Rogue GX attack and take a knockout on the Garbodor that way. Or just find a DCE and go for a Claw Slash. If not, uh, Cody is going to win this game. And I think Brandon did find an energy. I think I do see a strong energy in his hand, uh, which will allow him to go for a Dangerous Rogue GX to knock out this Garboder. And I think that's what we're going to see here, guys. I think we're going to see a, D, uh, a strong energy be attached to the active and a Dangerous Rogue GX uh, doing 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 220, 240. Uh, yeah, we're going to see a Dangerous Rogue here doing 240, knocking out the Garbodor. Uh, poor little Garbodor didn't have no chance at all, man. He he just, you know, he just, yeah, that's that's a knockout for sure. <laughs> All right, so on to Cody's turn. Let's see who decides to promote. Remember that SP only has one to trade cost? I thought it had two, but it only has one, it turns out. Uh, but we'll probably see him send up the... Yeah, I'll, I'll probably send the SP on. Uh, you can go for the confusion I was talking about, but then Brandon can retreat. Uh, we see another Trubbish coming down. Does he have a Guzma, a Lysander... Uh, not a lot, not a Lysander, not a Lysander, because that would be a disqualification. Uh, but we are going to see Confusion here doing 60. Going to confuse that, uh, Lycanroc and onto Brandon's turn. Does he find a DCE? Uh, he can attack now with the Lycanroc. He does need one more energy. Uh, Claw Slash needs a Fighting Energy and a DCE to attack. Uh, right now he's got two Strongs. We see an Ultra Ball. Going to discard two cards from his hand, okay. I also remember Brandon doesn't have outs to Puzzle Time anymore either he's already played uh, i think pretty much all of them uh we see brandon looking at his deck he has one dc in there and a fighting energy that i see uh so one fighting one dc we see a Layla coming down he's just basically just grabbing the Layla just to put in his hand um just to thin out his deck but he's gonna have to retreat this turn well um yeah he has to retreat because if cody finds a dc he can psychic for the game um yeah so he has to retreat into somebody we see a Kakui drawn two, okay, one and two. 
All he needs is one energy. If he finds one energy, he can take a knock on the Espeon. The Espeon has a billion damage on it. Um, but I don't think he has it. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think he has it or he immediately would have slammed it down. No matter what it is. A DCE fighting energy, you just slam it down, take a knockout, and you just take two more price cards going down to one. Oh, he does have a fighting energy in hand. So, I, I, yeah, I don't see why you don't put the fighting energy. Oh, oh, confusion. That's what it is. But do you risk it or not? This is the question we have to ask ourselves sometimes. Do you risk it? it looks like he is just going to retreat instead. He's not going to risk it for the biscuit. He's just going to retreat into Zarg. And we are going to see a pass um, from Brandon. Okay, so see the Zarg coming up. I mean, does he have a Guzma maybe? Oh, no, he had a Kukui, so he can't Guzma either. And we're going to see a pass here. So no DCE, unfortunately. They receive Sycamore from Cody. Go discard his hand, draw seven new cards. I mean, if he finds a Trash Lynch and a Psych Energy, he can take a knockout. Also, I think he, like, top deck that, um, pretty sure he top deck that Sycamore because I don't think he had anything in his hand. But we've seen Ultra Ball coming down. If he has a Psych Energy, this is going to be game. Um, because he took out a knockout earlier with a Zark with a with a Trash Lynch Garboder. Um, and I imagine there's maybe more, if not the same amount of, I mean, there's nothing there already to take a knockout, so it doesn't really matter how many are in there. Uh, he already took a knock on his arc. We see a Garbodor coming down. Does he have a Psychic Energy or not? Uh, that is a million dollar question. If he does, Cody will win game number one. We see an Aspion uh, coming down and a Psychic Energy. Oh, it doesn't matter. He can just retreat and uh, de evolve. All right, so yeah, that doesn't really matter. He can retreat, send that guy miraculous shrine, and uh, put the Lycanroc back into his hand. And we will see Cody take game number one. I don't know if I would reveal that I have that I played Espeon, um, <clears throat> just because you want to keep it like a surprise factor. Um, and there's no need to play on the Espeon this turn. He had Garbodor. He can trash lunch for the knockout. Um, and the reason why I say this is because now that, you know, Brandon knows that Cody plays Aspion, he can kind of like maybe, you know, kind of counter it. Maybe like Ace Roll is a Pokemon that have like 60 damage on it that he usually wouldn't Ace Roll or something like that just to prevent, you know, an Espeon coming down. That could be something he can, you know, uh, that you kind of think about when you're when you're playing these games is you don't reveal like you know, it, it cards to your opponent that you don't need to, um, because like I said, he didn't need to, he didn't use need to use Espeon. He already had the, the you know the Trash Lynch Garboder. He can take a knockout Trash Lynch. There's you know there's no need to show the Espeon. I think I think that's what I would say in the situation. But we are going to gain number two. This is best two out of three. And I think if I am Brandon, one thing I'm definitely doing is not just like throwing my my puzzles away like we saw in game number one. Puzzles are the most valuable cards in a Lycanroc Zorg deck that are so, you know, they're so necessary for you to survive and, you know, get set up and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, here we go. Both players are going to shuffle up, you know, take a little second, make sure everything is good to go. And like I said, this is 75 minutes. They have plenty of time to play this out. Uh, not really going to worry about time. The first game was like, what, 20 minutes? So they got plenty of time left. They got like 50-something minutes left uh, for two more games. And we see a mulligan from Cody. Uh, we see Brandon does find a Pokemon. And uh, going to allow him to get a mulligan draw if he chooses. So so there's the card or indication showing that he can draw a mulligan. But since Brandon lost, he gets the option to go first or second. Definitely Brandon is going to opt to go first. There's no need to go second in any standard. I'm pretty sure in any standard deck, you always want to go first. That that doesn't change ever. You just always want to go first. You want to get set up. You want to get more Pokemon on the field. And, you know, the big question is always, I mean, do you start with Bridget? Do you get the turn one Bridget? That significantly changes, like, the turn one and everything. Um... So here we go. Cody's going to get some new cards here. He's going to get one mulligan draw for Brandon. And we see Cody does have a Trubbish, okay? Does he get more than Trubbish? Looks like he's trying to bait. Does he start Trubbish? Does he start somebody else? I don't know. Let's see. He does have an Aspion in hand. Or is that a Drampa? I don't know. It's some kind of EX or GX. I'm not entirely sure what that was. But we'll see six prizes come down for both opponents. And uh, let's see what is... Or both not opponents, I guess players. Correct thing to say. But here we go. We see a Drampa start. Ooh, a Lele start from Brandon. That's never good. You never want to start with Lele. You want to, you know, keep that. Oh, but he has Bridget no matter what. Uh, so with this Bridget, I think I would just grab, like, three Zoras. Uh, we see him eyeballing that Rockruff and two Zoras. Um, 
The reason why I'm saying this, I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, if you have a fighting energy in hand, then sure, you go for Rock Ralph, you put a fighting energy, you can go that turn two Claw Slash, not gonna Drampa. That is a very, very strong play. But if he doesn't have a, a fighting energy, then I think you just grab three Zoras and try to get as much Zorks as you can next turn. I think that would live better. Uh, they receive Energy Lotto, okay. If I was in this situation, I, I probably would have Energy Lotto first to see what kind of energy I hit, and then Bridget. Um, that would have just like kind of changed my outcome. And, but they receive strong energy, so no matter what, he can put that strong energy on the Rock Roth and turn to have a potential Claw Slash and knock out this Drampa. All uh, right, so here we go. Probably see the strong energy being attached. We didn't see no enhanced hammers the last turn from Cody, which means, you know, he might still play them. We just didn't see them. Um, it's always a chance of that happening. But we see another Zora hit the field. Okay, so he had three Zoras in hand, or another Zora in hand. Um, he must have top decked it because I don't think you would start Lele just because, you know, you don't want to put down a Zora in the active spot. So he must have, like, top decked the Zora or drew it off the Mulligan or something. But on a Cody's turn, uh, definitely what we need to see from him is a Bridget as well. Um... Maybe a Psychic Energy to the Drampa. Maybe go for a... Uh, I don't know if you go for Drampa's GX attack or not to draw 10 cards. Um, I don't know if you go for Big Will GX or if you try to save it for an Espeon play. Uh, because Espeon could be really good to get that Divide GX attack off. Um, but also, like, going for Big Will is never a bad thing either. Just, like, shuffling, draw 10 cards is really strong. Uh, we see a card coming down. I'm not sure. It's like, oh, I think it's an Ultra Ball. And he's debating what two cards the Ultra Ball. Looks like he's is just deciding either the Guzma or another Ultra Ball. Um, I mean, I don't know his counts in his deck, so I can't really say what I would discard. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know his counts in his deck. But we see Ultra Ball. Discarding Ultra Ball and a Guzma. Does he find Lele for Bridget? Um, that is a big question here. And does he have a Psychic Energy to go for that big wheel of GX? But when he goes for big wheel of GX, then Lycanroc can then punch you in the face. Uh, face. But we see a Lily coming down instead of a Bridget. Um, okay. So Lily is going to let him draw up to eight cards in his hand because it is turn number one. Uh, usually Lily lets him only draw six, but since it is his first turn, he can go for that eight. We see a choice baby attached to the active and a Lily drawn, what, six cards, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I don't know how many cards he had. <laughs> All right, so does he have a psychic energy or not? He does have the uh, another Trubbish coming down, so two Trubbish and a Lele in the field. I know that Glare is pretty bad, unfortunately, but it's two Trubbish and a Lele on Cody's side of the field. But does he have a psychic energy to try to go for like a big will? Uh, there's a DCB that has to be active. DC attachment is very scary. You know your point of play is DC enhanced hammers. Um, but we're gonna see a righteous edge for 50. And on to Brandon's turn. Let's see what happens. All right, so can he find a Rock Ruff, a, a DCE? If he finds both of those and a Floatstone, he can knock out this Drampa. Uh, one thing he can do as well is put down like a, a, a Lycan Rock, Bloodthirsty Eyes, bring up a Trubbish, Lele for Guzma, bring up his his guy, and uh, that's a DCE. That's a lot to ask for, but I think it's a play. But we see a Puzzle Time, going to rearrange the top three guards of his deck. Once again, he's not using puzzle to its full of to its full advantage unless that's his only play then you kind of like whatever it's whatever you have to do sometimes uh but yeah that's kind of unfortunately it's a waste of puzzle already all right so let's see brandon does have a card in hand is it a zark or not and one thing when he does evolve it will take 30 damage but we see a dc be attached to the active uh we'll see energy drive doing 20 40 60 80 but what can happen next turn is cody can take a knockout if he finds like a Garbodor and a Psychic Energy, or any kind of energy, it will take a knockout on this Lele. But on Cody's turn, um, does he find a Psychic Energy? Righteous Edge does like a knockout immediately. It'll do like 100 damage, uh, which is 150. Maybe the Kikui could take a knockout. That's a thing he could do this turn. Psychic Kikui. Uh, yeah, this is a knockout for sure. Uh, there's a Garbodor coming down. Get that tr uh, the Garbotox internal line, which can be really, really useful. We see a Trash Lance Garbodor coming down. Okay. Let's see what else Cody has here. He's, I think he has a Lele in hand. I do see a Psychic GX Pokemon, which I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's a Drampa. Maybe there's a Drampa. And there's a second one. All right. Ew, uh, is that a Lele being discarded? It looks like it is a Lele. Maybe an Espeon. It's some kind of Psychic um, thing. I think it is an, an, an Lele. So I think he discarded Lele. Putting another Drampa down. So I guess this is more of a Drampa Garbuda variant. I heard rumors that it was more of an Espeon based build. Uh, but we see a DC going out to the Garbodor. Uh, he also got a Psychic Energy as well. So we are going to see a, a, a right a Berserk attack here for the knockout. Going out of five price cards. 
We'll see the rock rough coming up. And it does Brandon have way to take a knockout here. He does have double puzzle, which double puzzle doesn't really get him too much. He gets a Lele and maybe a DCE. Um, he could go Lele DCE, but we see DC. And does he have a Lycan Rock in hand? He's got Bridge in the discard pile. He's got Inner Gelato. Um, let's see. Let's see if he's going to go for the energy Gelato, just trying to help set up. And he does have the Lycan Rock in hand. So what he can do this turn is put down the Lycan Rock, attach a DCE, and go for a Claw Slash for the knockout. All right, so 30 there. DC to the active, and we are going to see a Claw Slash. I don't know if we play Energy Lotto here. I guess it really doesn't matter. I don't think Brandon has that many. Um, <clears throat> that many item cards to discard pile. He might, though. Uh, but see, Energy Lotto going to look at top seven cards of his deck. Uh, does he find energy? I know there's a, a Fighting Energy. I see that for sure. A strong energy as well. So he's going to get a Fighting, okay. I guess he's getting the Fighting <clears throat> just in case. His opponent goes for a um, a Righteous Edge next turn. Righteous Edge will allow uh, Cody to discard special energy off Brandon's side of the field. Which could set him back. But then he can retaliate with a uh, <clears throat> with Lycanroc's GX attack. I forgot what it is <laughs> already in my head. Oh my goodness. I just I just said it. Not Bloodthirsty Eyes. That's the name of the that's the ability. Um, Dangerous Rogue. There we go. Uh, Butch Dangerous Rogue will take a knock on the draft because it is weak to fighting. It'll do 150... Um, times two, three hundred, <clears throat> with a with a with a fighting energy, with strong energy, it will do more. But if I mean, I don't think Cody will go for a, a, a righteous edge here. That seems pretty bold strategy, especially since you know Brandon has a fighting energy in his hand. We see three, four. Is that yeah? That's four item cards to discard pile, which means Garbodor does eighty. Uh, so one ten right now. So still not enough for a knockout. Uh, Cody has all these cards in his hand, but it looks like nothing is very any it's not looks like it's not even playable um he does have a psychic like i said he can go for a <clears throat> he can go for a righteous edge here but if he does he's gonna get knocked out pretty bad back unless he can end in this turn uh, because we know that brandon does have a fighting in hand he can you know whatever energy gets discarded he does a fighting energy go for that dangerous rogue and take a knock on the drampa so things are not looking good for cody i mean he he has the espion with the you know the the garbage toxin internal line and you know Brandon doesn't really have anything on his side of the field, but this one Lycan Rock just hitting for weakness is just proving to be too strong for Cody right now. All right, so like I said, we see a Psychic Energy in his hand. We see a Rescue Stretcher. We see an Eevee. So Eevee coming down, a Psychic Energy being attached. Uh, it will not be able to use Energy Evolution because that Garbage Toxin Garbodor is online. Uh, so shutting down his own at Eevee right now. And I think Brandon has a Field Blower in hand, which will allow him to use maybe Zork, maybe Ultra Ball for something. Um, also, if this, if this Garbodor stays in the active spot, it's going to get knocked out pretty easily. He just goes Claw Slash, Knockout. That's fine. And actually, we're going to see Cody scoop here. Cody's like, all right, I have nothing. Because... <laughs> I guess Cody's like, all right, I have nothing to retreat to. I mean, he can retreat for like to the EV, but that gets knocked out. He gets switched into the Lele, but then that gets knocked out by Dangerous Rogue. He goes into two price cards. He gets sent at the Trash Lynch Garbodor, which he kind of needs that for later on. Uh, that gets easily knocked out as well. And he gets sent at the Drampa, but that gets knocked out as well. So, I mean, Cody really didn't have anybody to send up. I mean, with that, you know, if he had, uh, you know, a way to get a way to get the Floodstone off the Garbodor, what he could have done is retreated, maybe to have a Psychic Energy, or play like a Field Blower, gear the, the Floodstone off his own Garbodor, and then Energy Evolution found a Psychic, or for an Espeon GX, that was probably his only way out, but I guess he didn't have a Field Blower in hand to get rid of that tool off his own Garbodor. His own Garbodor actually shut himself down, making it where he didn't have an attacker for the next turn. And we're going to go into game number three. That was a pretty crazy game number two, I will say so. I mean, Brandon literally had nothing. He just had a Lycan Rock with two energies, and that was it. And that was enough to overcome this Drampa Garbodor deck with an Espeon in it. And I guess, I, mean, I wonder how many Espeons Cody actually runs in his deck. But here we go, guys. We will set up for game number three. Who do you want to see to win? Do you want to see this Drampa Garb deck coming back in action um, and, and sneak away a top eight victory? Or do you want to see the continuation of Zorak and Lycanrod, uh dominate the format? But here we go, guys. Uh, <laughs> we see that Brandon handshakes himself. And we see uh, both players getting set up here. But Cody... <clears throat> 
It does get an ultra ball. I wonder if he'll go for a turn one Bridget or a Lily this game. We saw last time he did go for the Lily, uh, which didn't really pay him off too much. Uh, but regardless, he didn't have a supporter card, so it probably wouldn't have changed much in hindsight, I guess, to say. Um, because it's not like he's playing, like, Zora, right? Because they can't really, you know, draw extra cards. But we've seen an ultra ball. Go and discard a Trash Lynch and a Guzma. Probably find a Lele. Use Wonder Tag, and then which supporter card will he go for this turn? Like I said, Lele didn't really pay off for him last turn, but if he doesn't have a supporter card in hand, then I can see why it does become beneficial. But if he's got an energy card and a supporter card for next turn, I think you, you go for Bridget here with this Lele and uh, try to get set up for sure. But we'll find out here in a second. Will Cody grab Bridget? Will he grab a Lele? Or will both supporter cards be prized? But nope, he's going to grab Bridget here and search for three uh, basic or GX Pokemon. Man, I kind of wish, like, what if they changed the ruling on Bridget where you can't get GXs in it with it? I think it will still be, like, super played. It's such a good card. It's such a good card. But we see a Trumpish come down. We'll probably see an Eevee and a Drampa come in the line. Like, he really doesn't need four Trumpishes. But, I mean, he could if he's scared that one's getting knocked out. And looks like he's not going to grab a Drampa this game. He's like, no, I don't need Drampa. Drampa is a liability. It just gets knocked out by your Lycanrocs. I don't want this guy on my field. So we see Psych Energy. <coughs> Going to the Eevee. We will see an Espeon uh, come out. And, um, you know. All right, there's an Espeon coming down. And what it could happen is um, we could see a Psychic come online. Um, Psychic could knock out the Zora this turn. I mean, next turn. If Brandon doesn't find anything, but that's, I mean, Brandon probably has ways to find a Bridget next turn. I mean, he probably plays multiple Bridgets. Um, he's got a Sycamore in hand. He's got a Fighting Energies. It looks like he actually doesn't have a Bridget right now. Okay. So, let's see. What does he decide to do here? He's got uh, some kind of tool card in hand. Looks like maybe a Choice Band or Floatstone. So, Floatstone to be active. He does have a Sycamore. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't see a Bridget in hand. I don't see an Ultra Ball. This could be a very quick game number three all right so let's see what does brandon do here i mean i you have to sycamore like i know you're discarding a bunch of resources like we see angelotto we see a lichen rock <clears throat> we see a puzzle maybe mallow is another card but he's got to find in the pokemon if he does not you know cody can win this game next turn but looks like he did find an ultra ball oh no he find a <laughs> we see a we find a uh uh a rock rough azora come online and a double puzzle to grab an energy lotto okay so that he cannot use puzzle time anymore and a fighting energy uh he can put a fighting energy on a rock rough and like threaten a dangerous rogue gx next turn and it is a very possibility of him doing that uh because there's four in the field on brandon's on cody's side of the field which just 200 if he finds a choice band or a strong energy he can take a knockout with a like rock next turn uh, so we see him get an energy lotto, and I don't know if I use the energy lotto straight away right now, um, because, you know, you put another item card in your discard pile, it could make it where Garbodor or Garbatoxin could take a knockout the following turn, um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, okay, so we find a DCE, he's already attached, so, he can't touch DCE, I don't know, I think I would save the energy lotto, but we see pass onto Cody's turn, He's got it in. He's got a psychic energy. Does he try to save a... Oh, that's a Potown. Okay. Never see an in. I mean, if Cody can find a DCE here, he can go for a Divide GX and knock out the Rockruff from the bench. Maybe like a Floodstone DCE. He can take a knock on the Rockruff and go down to five prize cards and then actually set Brandon back a couple turns. Um, because Brandon, like, he attached the fight energy, get ready for Dangerous Rogue. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, Cody does have to find a couple things here. A DCE and a Floodstone out of six cards is, you know, kind of unlikely. But, man, with six cards, and he probably plays a bunch of those, like four Floodstone, four DCE. But does he find one? There's a Choice Band in hand. I don't think he has the, the Floodstone-DCE combo in his hand. So we're not going to see a Divide GX happening, unfortunately. I just really want to see a Divide GX happen. That's, that's what I really want to see. Um... But he's, yeah, I mean, oh, man, Cody doesn't have anything in hand. He's got a Sycamore, some Choice Fans. Uh, we're going to see a pass from Cody here. Yeah, I mean, he's got a DCE, but no Floatstone. Oh, man, that's what's up right now. Yeah, he has a DCE, but no Floatstone. He you know, chooses not to attach to DCE, which is very smart. We know Brandon does play those enhanced damage, which can shut down Cody. We see a, a Zark coming down. Uh, it'll take 30 damage because of the Potown. There we go. 
Uh, but Zora can, I mean, it can knock out the Trubbish's turn. We see a Lycanroc to get 30 damage. And he's going to bring up that Espeon to try to get ready for knock it out. Like I said, he finds a strong energy. He can actually knock out this Espeon. Does he have a strong energy in hand? That would be insane to see. And we see a DCE. All right, so he needs to find a choice band now. And there's a choice band. So we will see a dangerous road GX happening here. A knock out the Espeon going down to four price cards. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Rock Ruff in in. Most likely finding a Lele. Going to use the one attack. Finding a Juniper and going to get a new hand of seven. So Brandon having a fantastic turn too. Like, wow, he's got a, the, the Lycan Rock, he's got the Zork, he's got the DCE, he's got the Choice Band, and now Ultra Ball for Sycamore. He's going to get seven new cards here. My goodness, like that is... I couldn't ask for better seven, I don't think so. But here we go, seven new cards coming down, and he hasn't even used in trade yet. Uh, but one thing to note about Brandon is he does have three Puzzle of Times used up, um, which could come back to bite him later on in the game. He also is... You know, putting some, you know, item cards in discard pile, but we see a trade at number one. Does he find a Zark or not? Uh, looks like we don't see one. So we're going to see a treat. And we're going to see a Dangerous Rogue GX. Oh, we see Cody already discarding the Espeon. He knows, he knows what's happening. Uh, it's no surprise here. We see another Rock coming to the field, which is really nice for next turn if he wants to get, a, you know, another Bloodthirsty Eyes. Uh, so yeah, it's a really good turn by Brandon. I mean, that's just happens sometimes with this Lycanroc Zork deck. It's so consistent. And uh, it's just really, really strong. But on the Cody's turn, he does have the DC in hand. So he can maybe go for energy drive. He does 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Um, which can set up for two shots. The good thing about Brandon using his dangerous rogue attack is he really can't take one shots on his on Cody's Pokemon. Unless he gets like um, Kakui Choice Band on a full bench with Zark to knock out Lele. That is one thing you can do with Lycanroc Zark is you can take a knockouts that way. Because you can do 170 damage, uh, which is pretty nice. But on a Cody's turn, he's got a Lele in hand. I know he has a DCE. Um, but like I said, he can't take a knock on this Lycanroc, unfortunately. Man, if, yeah, I mean, it's going to come down to can, you know, can Brandon do that crazy play? Can we see, like, DCE, a new Zark, a Choice Band, Kikui, another Pokemon to come down? If that does happen, you know Brandon can't take a knock on this Lele. But we see Choice Band going down to the Trubbish. We see three Trubbish on, on Cody's side of the field. Uh, DC to the active. We see Energy Drive for at least 100 right now, which allowed him to two shot this uh, Lycanroc. We see Choice Band going to the active. He does have a Lele, which can one attack for in. Uh, but what he needs to find here is a definitely a Garbotoxin Garbodor. So we see a Lele. I think he's going to go for in here and just try to disrupt Brandon some. Um, but, I mean, if he doesn't find. Uh, if he doesn't find the Garbodor and a Floatstone, um, then he's definitely still going to be in trouble because Brandon does have outs to trade. Um, maybe find another Lele. We know he does play a lot of those. These decks play three or four in them um, because they're really consistent. But here we go, guys. <clears throat> going to get set up here. Does, I, mean, well, I guess the question is, what does Cody find first? Does he find himself a Garbodor and a Floatstone to shut down you know, Brandon's abilities? We see he does play Rainbow in his, in his deck, okay? Uh, he's got a field blower. Um, I think it's a field blower. Yeah, field blower. But I do not see a Garbodor or an Ultra Ball. Um, either one would give him the Garbotoxin to shut down this trade ability. Uh, we might just see Energy Drive for 100. We see a field blower. Gonna get rid of the Floatstone off the bench. I don't know if I'd get rid of the Floatstone off the bench. You now give um, <clears throat> Brandon two outs to like. You know, attached choice fans too, but we see an Ultra Ball. We will see the Garbatox and Garbodor come online, and we will see the Trash Lynch, not Trash Lynch, the Garbatox and being activated, making it where Brandon cannot use his abilities. And there we go, 30 damage coming down. And we'll see Ender Drive for 130, thanks to the choice fan, bringing that Lycan Rock up to 160. Um, so 50 HP left, I think. I think that's 210 HP, if not 40. I can't remember how much it has. So, let's take a second. There's 612, 30, 40, Yep, 160. Okay. And on to Brandon's turn. Can he find himself a field blower? Uh, can he go for that crazy Kikui DCE choice band play? That's also something. And also, what he can just do is just swing with their Lycan Rock. It will do 110, which doesn't knock out the Lele, but it does set up a two shot, which is really nice. And then um, maybe Brandon could do some crazy knockout on the bench Lele. But we will see a field blower uh, getting rid of the Po Town. And the choice fan on the bench, you know, Brandon saying, hey, I'm going to try to take a knockout this turn. I don't care about your choice fan. 
Or maybe the choice of it is just like irrelevant on the active, um, which might be another thing to think about too. Um, Poe Town could be a little better to get rid of, but they receive a trade at number one. Getting rid of a rescue stretcher. We see it in the Zorg hit the field. Um, we see a trade number two. One and two. Can he find the Kikui, DCE, Choice Band, Wombo Combo, or not? I really want to see it happen. Like, I, I, I know I should have been cheering for Lycanroc Zorg, but I really want to see that crazy play where you can take a knockout with Zorg with Kikui, Choice Band, DCE. It's such an insane turn to see. But, I mean, with DCE here, he can still just riot his beating and put a lot of pressure on his opponent. We see a strong energy going down to Rocco. If you see Cody kind of fist pump there, saying yes, he doesn't have the knockout. But we do see our, our Lycanroc come down. Going to bring up that Garbodor. And we are going to see a Claw Slash to knock out that Garbodor Toxin Garbodor. He's like, hey, you know, I'm, I can't knock out your Layla this turn. But I'll at least get rid of that Garbodor Toxin. And, and we see an Enhanced Tamer getting the DC off the bench. Lele now. Wow. All right. So that's a pretty good turn from Brandon. You know, playing the Field Blower. Get rid of the Tolls. Get rid of the Poe Town. Go and de discard the DC off the Lele. And going to get rid of the Garbodor Toxin. That's a good turn right there. And yeah, we're going to see Brandon take a knockout, going down to three price cards, and uh, it is not looking good for Cody right now. He's got the Lele, he can send it in, does he have another DCE? Um, if he does, he can energy drive for the knockout, and he does have a Sycamore, thankfully. Going to get seven new cards, I see his Psychic Energy, another Psychic Energy. Does he hit a DCE? I see an Ultra Ball, uh, maybe a Float Stone, maybe get another Garber Toxin online. But man, if he doesn't find anything, yeah, it's going to be close to the end, I think, for sure. Man, all right, so let's see, what does Cody have here? Like I said, he has a Psychic Energy, really, the Psychic Energy does not relevant at all. I mean, he can attach it to a Trubbish to follow up for like a, um, for a Trash Lunch to fall in turn, but man, it is, it is going downhill real quick for Cody. We see an Ultra Ball, going to discard two cards from his hand. Will he find a Garber Toxin this turn? Uh, definitely not the Drampa. I see a Drampa in there, you definitely don't have the Drampa. It is a claw slash knockout uh, for sure on uh, for 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 Brandon here, uh, but see a garbage uh, though the trash lance one. Okay, so you see trash lance coming down. It cannot attack right now. Um, that lately does have a choice man, so no floodstones can be attached. It is stuck in the act spot. So let's see a tr uh, trash lance come down. I mean, maybe he plays switch. Um, let's see a psychic energy. He's debating it right now. Go to attach to the active, and we are going to see a pass onto Brandon's turn. All right, so let's see what can Brandon do here. Can he finally go for that Kikui play that we have that I've wanted to see? I want to see this crazy Kikui play. I want to see him like you know drop Pokemon, trade, do some Kikui, Choice Man, take a knockout. That would be insane to see. But it looks like we're not going to see it right now. It looks like Code I mean, Brandon is taking a second to decide what to do here. Um, I mean, one thing he could do is maybe like try to knock out one of the bench, like knock out the bench Garbodor. We see a trade number one. Okay. <laughs> um, he's already used his GX attack, so yeah, the only way he can take a knockout is going for that that play I keep mentioning over and over again. We see trade number two. Did he find the Kikui DCE Choice Band Pokemon? He already pitched a Zor, uh, Zora. It looks like he did not find it though. Oh no, no, I want to see the cool play. Oh man. Oh well. I mean, at least we can see a claw slash do 110 damage, which is still a pretty strong attack. Unless he's got an ace roll, ace roll would be really dirty to see, but. We see a Lele. <clears throat> Man, does he Lele for Kikui here? Just like, all right, I'm going to hope I hit the cards. Um, Let's see. What does he grab here with Lele? Man, please grab the Kikui. Do the play. Come on. Let's see it. Okay, no Ace Roller. All right, well, Ace Roller is still not bad. <clears throat> you can Ace Roller pick up your Lycanroc, uh, set up a Zark, and Riot is beating uh, for 120 right now, which is a, basically a two-shot. So Ace Roller, going to pick up the active Lycanroc. Go to send in the okay. No, he's gonna go for he's gonna go for Lycanroc still. He wants to go, continue the trend of attacking with Lycanroc. I guess this is his favorite attacker. Maybe he wants to save the Zorks for later on. Maybe he maybe he likes to save those for later game. I don't know. Uh, so DC's active, and we'll see a class claw slash for one thirty. Alrighty, so six twelve one thirty. Man, what thing he could have done is Kikui choice. That could have taken a knockout. Uh, but here we go. We see Brandon counting the item cards in this card pile. Oh, man. I have no idea how many that is. Uh, let's see if we can count here real quick. Let's see. Can we count? Can we count, Brandon? Come on. Help us out here. Uh, nope. <laughs> All right. So on the Cody's turn, let's see what happens. Does he have a Psychic Energy? Can Trash Lunch take a knockout? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Cody still has to take six prize cards to Brandon's three. 
Mm, that's not good. And that's not good. He's got he's got a sycamore in hand. He's got a lele. He can go for wonder tag. But what do you even wonder tag for? Like, you already have sycamore in hand. Tr trade it makes where like it's not very good. So see lele. <clears throat> Does he go for in here? Try to disrupt Brandon because Brandon has like a billion cards in hand. That could be something. We do see a puzzle in Brandon's hand, which we know is pretty useless because he already has three puzzles in this discard pile. Uh, looks like the Lele will fail, though, so he must have, like, an in prize or something that he's looking for. Maybe he's looking for Ace Roll. I don't know. Uh, he does look like a Floatstone, so Floatstone will go down Shrubbish. And we see Sycamore go and discard his hand, drawing seven new cards. I mean, I don't know if he has enough in the discard pile to not take a knockout trash lance. I'm, I'm not 100% certain on that either. Uh, he does have a Stretcher, um, but, which could get the Garbotoxin. But if he doesn't find a Psych Energy to attack with the Trash Lynch, it's pretty much game over. Uh, so let's see, what does Cody do here? Alright, so see Trash here. Probably going to target the Garbotoxin, just to get that back on the field. Uh, just shut down abilities. And they have, Oh no, he's actually going for the Trash Lynch one. He's not going for Garbotoxin. Okay. So let's see. Let's see the Trash Lynch come down. Okay. <clears throat> he's got a Potown, which Potown, you know, I mean, you could put it down just to have it. We see a treat into the Lele. Okay. And a pass, most likely, is what we're going to see here. Yes, a pass onto Brandon's turn. Now, remember, Brandon does have a Lycanroc in hand. A uh, Lycanroc can bring up that bench, you know, Lele, take a knockout with Colossus, going down to one price card, and uh, it's, it's not looking good for... It's, it's, <laughs> it hasn't been looking good for Cody for a long time. We see Puzzle Time. Oh, he's trading it. He's trading away. I thought he was, like, using it to look at top three. Um... But like I said, he's got the Lycan Rock in hand. He can bring up the bench, uh, top of Lele. Going to have one prize card. We see Ultra Ball. Discarded two cards from his hand. Maybe he's just staying on his hand right now, just in case he gets in next turn. Uh, discard a Zark and a Zora. Uh, let's see. Does he have any Pokemon in there? He does have a Lele that he can just put in his hand um, for next turn. Just to have. Uh, so yeah, going to put the Lele in the hand. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, so, yeah, gonna see Layla going to hand. That way, I mean, he, I don't know, he doesn't draw into it next turn, maybe, if he doesn't want me. Basically, what he's doing is he's standing on his deck. He's Ultra Ball and discarding the cards he doesn't need, uh, you know, and saying, hey, I don't want to draw into this card next turn. We see him, you know, trade away a Bridget. He doesn't need those either. His, you know, hand, you know, he really doesn't need any of those cards. Um, but I'll probably see, like I said, the Lycan Rock come down. Probably an Energy Attachment with somebody. Uh, maybe a, a, a Zark. I mean, pretty good. Uh, even if it's a fighting energy, it's still not a bad thing to attach. Uh, but we'll see a Lycanroc come down. Gonna bring up that Lele. We knew it was in his hand because he ace rolled up last turn. Okay. Uh, we'll see a Claw Slash. We'll see a fighting energy actually be attached to the, um, the, the Lycanroc, which is fine too. That's a fine play as well because now no matter who Cody brings up with a Guzma, um, he gets to attach a DCE and take a knockout. Or not a knockout, but actually swing for damage. And there's the Kikui drawn too. No! The Kikui play! He. No! <laughs> he should have saved the Kikui. There is no need to play the Kikui there. You save it for the Lele play. No! <laughs> Alright, so see Claw Sash for knockout. Oh, man. If he had a choice band, he could have just knocked out the act of Lele. Like, he didn't even need that. Oh, man. Oh, oh well. Uh, we see a Psychic Energy be attached to the active. Like I said, I don't even know if he takes a knockout here. I don't know how many item cards are in Brandon's discard pile. Uh, looks like it's enough. We'll see a knockout on the active. But, I mean, if Brandon has a DCE, he wins the game. I mean, you gotta think he has outs to DCE. Uh, he's gonna send the Lycan Rock? Okay, I think he you definitely send the Zork here. Um, just because it has resistance, just in case. Alright, so there's the card being drawn. I mean, you have to... There's no way you don't find a DC here. Like, he's only played two. There's the trade. Discarding Guzma. Drawing two cards. Um, We'll see an Ultra Ball. Going to start two cards from his hand. He's got another Zork. Okay, but he discards a Rockruff and a, and a Zork. He's got two... Oh, the next card is a DCE. Oh, oh, wait. He doesn't actually... Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten. He actually doesn't have enough to knock out this this garbage right now. It only has a hundred... Two, four, six, eight, ten. We see trade number two. Um, <coughs> we see Kikui. Uh, uh. All right, so we played two Kikui. Did he whiff? Oh my goodness. Um, I think he whiffed the energy. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. All right, will this Garbodor go the distance? Oh my goodness. That would be insane to see. Uh, once again, I don't know how many. Okay, there's a Field Blower. Okay, get rid of the Flowstone. But man, I mean, if... I mean, okay, so this trying to go to Bench like Rock. Okay. <clears throat> man, but Cody doesn't have any more ends, I'm pretty sure. Choice Man going to the like Rock. He's, I mean, Brandon's getting ready for an end. Like, if he gets in, he's like, whatever. I'm playing down as much cards as I can. Uh, just get ready for next turn. And we're going to see a pass on to Cody's turn. My goodness. All right. I mean, we know there's two DCs in there. We saw them. We saw them both the DCs in there. My goodness. That's pretty funny to see that happen. And he played another Kikui. Man. All right. He drew, like, six cards and with the DCE. That's so unfortunate. But we're going to see what does Cody do here does he have an out or not I mean right now it doesn't look like it uh he has to end Brandon but I don't think there's any more ends left in Cody's deck I think he's used them all up he does have a Guzma if there's a Guzma and Flowstone to knock out that bench like rock uh, that could save him the game um that yeah that, that could save him the game actually because if he knocks out the okay there's he Flowstone retreat to the Lele was he Guzma? I mean, he has Guzma. If he has enough to discard this Lycanroc, you definitely knock out this Lycanroc with the Guzma this turn. And uh, we're going to see a pass here. Okay. Um, Let's see. Was he Guzma? And there we see the game. Okay, he's got Guzma. He's got DC in hand. And yeah, there we go. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, could Brandon have to get a knockout next turn? I mean, did he have a Lele? 2040... 20, 40, 68. I mean, I don't know if if he would have Guzman taking a knockout. I don't think Cody, uh, I mean, Brandon would have a way to knock it out. I think he would only have 100 HP. But either way, there we go. Brandon will advance to top four, guys. There we go. That's a pretty insane game. He's showing that he had three DCs left in deck and didn't hit either one of them. That is pretty insane. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be back in top four of Memphis League Cup. Have a great day. Hit the subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye.